What's up, freaks? I'm gonna show. I'm about to show you how you need to prepare for your traveling. We get we get the questions all the time. What do I do I'm on the road? Do you have any ideas for exercises, for workouts, for nutrition, for my supplements? What can I bring? What should I do? How do I prepare? I'm about to show you exactly what I do. Look at this big Marine Corps bag. This huge bag, right? I'm gonna check this bag in. This bag is gonna be just for my training and for my nutrition. That's it. Nothing else. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do a whole separate check-in bag and whatever they're gonna charge you, whatever the airline's gonna charge you, it's gonna be worth it. Whatever it is, 35, 50 bucks. Or if you have the if you have their card, if you have the card, the miles, miles card, whatever, sometimes it's even free for an additional baggage. But it's gonna be worth it for me to have the peace of mind to know when I get to where I'm going, no matter what situation I get stuck in, if there's delays and I don't have time to get to the store or whatever, I'm gonna have at least a foundation that's gonna I'm gonna be able to survive on for no matter how long I'm going for. I'm gonna pack it accordingly. I'm going on a short trip coming up, just a few days, so I'm gonna be packing just a short trip. So first thing to go to training, I'm bringing my extra pair of sneakers, good for running, and the ones I'll be wearing are gonna be good more for training. So I'll always have two pairs of sneakers, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm just going for a run, because when, when, when in doubt, go for a fast walk, go for a run, go up some stairs, so I'll have the running shoes with me for that. Then when it comes to training, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring my stuff to prepare for training, my small foam roller. That's gonna go right in there. With this pump, I don't have it up here yet, but there's this pump right here. It weighs like one ounce. Air pump. Because I'm gonna have a deflated stability ball that I'm gonna also put in here. That's just downstairs, I didn't bring it up. I thought I had it here, but it's not here. But it, it smushes up, it weighs nothing. So a deflated stability ball with the pump takes two minutes to pump it up and you have a ball and then you can do tons of different exercises on. So the pump is gonna go in there. Then this little tiny Peak Physique bag, I'm gonna stuff filled with a ton of pieces of equipment. So first, I have my pair of sliders that I could use. You could use, because what if you're stuck in your hotel room? What if you get there late, there's a layover? Fuck it, I'll do it in the airport. I've done this stuff in the airport with sliders and bands. So I put my pair of sliders. These kind of bands aren't necessary, but I still like to bring them, the ones with the handles, where you can attach to a post. But even if you don't have those, that's fine. But they're, they're gonna take up a little more space and a little more expensive, but you really don't need them. If you have them, then, then great, because then you can set up for stations. You can set up different stations if you bring a pair of these. Plus, more important than those type of exercise bands are the are monster bands. So I'm bringing a whole set of monster bands, four different intensity levels. So if you had only monster bands, you're gonna be fine. You don't need the exercise bands. But I like to set both pairs of those up and set these up. Like I'll use the lighter ones for stuff on the floor, you know, just standing free and I'll attach these to a post for different shuffles or bear crawls or resisted bear crawls. So then you have, you have a station right there. These attached together to a pole, this on the floor on two separate stations for presses, jump squats, something, and have the other band for presses, rows, curls, whatever. And this is all gonna squeeze right inside this tiny little band. You can see it's taking up no space. Even if I didn't have this huge bag, you could make this shit happen even with a, a small bag, a carry-on if you even had to. And then there is a lacrosse ball, which I'm using for, must also for like, your feet get cranked up from the traveling, your glutes from sitting so much, a lacrosse ball, you roll your feet, you roll your upper back, you put it up against a wall and roll your back, so that's going in there. And that's just to cover the training, the training portion. Next, we're gonna go into, what, what do I bring for food? Is it gonna weigh a little bit? Sure. Is there a chance it could burst open? Sure. Has it ever bursted open? I think one time, I had like a monster energy drink or a bang drink open up on me and it just leaked and stuff, but I don't care. I'm willing to risk that. So I'm taking a couple of these, these bang drinks, and if you really don't know, you, you want to be prepared. So I'm bringing enough to cover me for the amount of days that I'm there as a foundation. And they're going right in there. So a few different bang drinks, then protein drinks. Ready to drink protein shakes. I also have protein powder, but ready to drink protein shakes just in case. Because you don't even know, you might get to where you're going and you can't even get to water when you first get there. There are some vitamin water zeros. I'll put like just a few of those in there because they start getting too bulky. Protein bars. I have my Quest bars and my Herbalife bars. A good amount. More than you think you need, just in case. Those are going in there. Your packets of tuna. At least one per day for the amount you're there. And look how tiny they are. They take up no space. These little packets of tuna. Zero space. That's going in there. Then my protein chips. Now these. There's like a pouch in here, I try to put them in here so they don't get too screwed up, but they're gonna get crushed. And they have popped open before, but I'm willing to risk it. So a few things, and there's protein puddings. I didn't put any anywhere. So now this is one, this is the time when you're on, when you're traveling, 
that you can maybe, you know, we have the yes list, the no list, the no list, and the fuck no list. The no list is things that are not necessarily unhealthy, but probably not conducive to weight loss. But if you're traveling, if your only choice was a banana or a freaking double bacon cheeseburger, obviously you're going to go for the banana. When you're traveling, you're going to do what you have to do. So I always bring a container of natural peanut butter with me as like a backup plan. You're trapped, you're caught in between meetings or you're trapped in between, trapped in a, a hotel room and can't get to the, the food that you need. It's better. So it's, is it on the no list? Sure. But depending on the, you know, the phase of training you're in, maybe you're going to get away with a, a scuba tour of peanut butter. It's going to be better than the alternative. You're going to get a bagel with butter or cream cheese or some shit. So I'll always bring a jar of peanut butter as a backup plan. Then it comes to the supplements. So simple, I have another one of my little bags that's going to be, have my supplements in it. Of course, my Herbalife serving scooper. Now look at these containers. These are old Herbalife or just old little containers that I use just because they're so small and convenient. So it has my glutamine, my beverage drink mix, my pre-workout. So I don't want to bring, like if you look over here, I don't want to be bringing all these huge containers, right? All these Herbalife, all these huge containers, my aminos. So I put them in these, I keep these old containers, put just enough what I need in, but I'll always prepare like for glutamine, say, or beverage drink mix. I won't put in enough, say I'm going for weight for three days. I'll put enough for double the amount of days because you never know you're going to get screwed over, you're going to get laid over, you're going to get stuck there. So I bring double the amount that I think I might need for everything, really. And all I'm doing is these tiny little containers, they weigh nothing. It's just powders, throwing them right in there. Simple. Then all the vitamins you need, all my different Herbalife vitamins, my multivitamins, in this little container, just enough for double the amount of days. That one I keep in that same separate pouch just so it doesn't get too loose and crushed. And I forgot these. So these are these not all natural jerky. They have one and a half grams of fat, six grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein in a serving. So a little bit of carbs, sure, but perfect in these pouches for traveling. I'll put one there, I'll put two of these in but all this stuff I'm going to put in here, but I'm also going to bring whatever is going to be allowed to in my carry-on, which is right here. So I'll put in a packet of tuna in the carry-on. I'll put in a couple of protein bars in the carry-on. I'll put this in the carry-on. I'll put a protein pudding in there. Sometimes they let you get through with, the through with the protein pudding, and sometimes they take that shit from you. So I'll risk that. So I'll put like everything in here, and then whatever I can get, whatever you could bring in the carry-on, I'll bring here. Because also, think about it. I'll even sometimes put some of the exercise equipment, one band or something in my carry-on and the lacrosse ball in my carry-on so I have, make sure I have at least a foundation. What if your bag gets lost? So you're preparing. I'll put a, a small amount in here, a large amount in, in the check-in bag so you're covering your bases no matter what. So that's going in there. So all this stuff I'm also going to put in the carry-on. And our supplements were in here. You are all set. Protein powders, glutamine. Right now, and I might put it, it's still light. It's only, it's a short trip, so I don't really need that much. I might even put some more in there. It's, this is maybe 20 pounds, 25 pounds right now. Nothing. You can put it up to 50 pounds before you go over the limit. So I'll put in a few more array of drink shakes in there, a few more of the bang drinks, and some more protein powder probably, and a few more protein bars, just in case. So it's simple. Look at this. In one bag. And this, and this is not even, this is empty. You could put this in a much smaller bag than this. I just go over work, I'm going to stuff this with some more shit. I usually will bring an extra third pair of sneakers just in case and a couple more ready to drink shakes like there's plenty extra here and then for stuff like my water jug that's going to be empty just space in there for that I'll usually bring two different water bottles just always having a backup plan I'll even bring an empty water bottle in here that you're going to get away with and it's simple right there I could eat healthy I could live if I never had any food for the entire three, four days that I'll be gone, I can live off this bag right here. If I had no gym, I could live out of this bag right here and get everything done I need to get done. It's simple. It's so easy and it's not any more expensive than the regular food you're doing. I have my protein shakes, peanut butter as a backup, my tunas, beef jerky, protein bars, energy drinks, supplements, protein powders, workout, protein chips, protein puddings, foam rollers, bands, sliders, oh, and, and a, a TRX. This one's a short trip. I'm not bringing the TRX. The longer ones, I will also bring a TRX. It's simple. It fits right in there. And the stability ball, it's like, boom. I have a mobile gym and freaking nutrition center right here. And I'm not going to, no matter what happens, no matter what situation I get stuck in, I can't get to the store to get food or whatever. I have everything I need to survive off of here and still live within the peak, free nutritional 
educational nutrition guidelines and have some freaking discipline and still train. And guess what? Even if this shit got lost and the luggage is lost, I'll still find a freaking way to make it happen. I will still find a way to make it happen. It doesn't matter. We'll just adapt and overcome, right? That's why I always bring, have a little small amount of stuff in here just in case. And then still, you're always going to make it happen. You know the shit you need to get in order to stay on, on the program. So it's simple. That's all it takes. It's, it's not heavy. It's not expensive. It takes, look how quick I just did that. I'm set now. I'm set. That's all I need. Any questions, put them in the comments and I will talk to you later. No excuses.